right, as you can see, we got go hard or go home versus 1v1 owned. So this is going to be an interesting match to say the least. Warren says, best match of the night in my opinion. Possibly. Okay, the fireworks are given, so the match is about to start. Let me go into the game here. Okay. So they are entering right now with go hard or go home leading the charge. Oh, and Tisty charging right in but getting stunned right off the bat. So they slowed him down. Viral doing the physician healing it looks like. So he's getting pulled all over the place. And Tisty going down really fast. A lot of pressure being put onto him. And he charges in at Nephi. Cupcake, he CC'd off to the side, whereas Nephi is, yeah, it looks like he's not going with the Tempest. Well, is he Tempest? Yeah, okay, he's still Tempest. It's really interesting that he's running Tempest after all the nerfs. Revert, getting pressured now. Is he gone a pyro spec it looks like? Oh, the, wow, look how low he went. And the defiler popped ugly on him. And Orxy doing a good job of keeping his team alive. Now the pressure is being put on the Norxy. They're not wanting that to continue, that's for sure. Slow shots being mage caged off to the side. And Orxy getting low in health but jumping right back up at will. It doesn't seem like the pressure is bothering him all that much. But Anticity trying to keep on to him. Well, he's going down in health, should I say. And Orxy doing a good job of uh, staying off to the side and trying to keep the pressure off of him. But the Mage Cage landed right in time. Anticity going down to almost 30% health there but getting healed right back up. Revert also taking a lot of damage. The flames are flying from him, so he's obviously away from the Dom spec now. Slow shots. Oh, slow shots running a little bit of bard action there. Yeah, slow shots running a lot of bard. I'm used to only seeing him as a physician spec, so seeing him swap it up to uh, bard is really interesting. And he goes down to about 50% life right now. And Tisty already dead up into the stands. Revert getting a lot of pressure being done to him. Morgan Naked Stone is really pressuring Revert a lot. But the Defiler Ugly has been popped onto him. And Orxy getting a lot of pressure being put on him. Doing a good job with the Mage Cage there, but Orxy isn't doing too well now. The Defiler spec there is seeming to suffer with the single target heals there. And Nephi keeping the Tempest damage going from range. And as you can see, the charge, tar, charge pulse flying out as well as the fireballs from Revert there. Mage Cage on the Naked Stone keeping him out of the DPS pocket there. Now he's back on to Revert with the charge. And as you can see, Revert went down. Viral CC'd off to the side, but ganked is being cleaned up now as Go Hard or Go Home seems to have wrapped this one up. It's not completely over as Slow Shots is still alive, but it's looking pretty bad. And Slow Shots goes down.
And it is 1-0 for go hard or go home. There goes the fireworks. And we are going into the game. As you can see, Anticity charges right in. Probably going to, yep. There goes the charge and the stun. They're making sure that they're stopping him with that first stun because they're not wanting the pressure to be put on to somebody too early on. And, yeah, if you hit first, you most likely are going to have a jump on the other team and possibly could sway the a fast death. Cupcake, you getting pressured quite a bit right now, but seems to be doing pretty well with the bunny hopping. Ganked putting a lot of pressure on to Cupcakey. Antisti getting pressured by Morg. So we're seeing some pretty cool DPS on DPS action going on over there. And Kayla has told me that we can put all four teams into the MVP uh, voting. So you guys will determine which team wins the MVP. It does not have to be the winning team or anything like that. We would almost prefer it not to be the winning team, but it's up to you guys to vote. At the end of the tournament, we will put a straw poll with all four teams onto it, and you guys will vote who you think gave it the best effort. And, yeah, they're all going to win some wrecks. Courtesy of Ominous the Guild on Seastone. Without their support, we wouldn't be able to do this awesome MVP award. As you can see, Cupcakey is being pressured a lot by Anticity and ganked. Morg is trying to pull off a little bit of the pressure off of Cupcakey. And, oh, CC on to gank there. The heals from Enorxy and Anticity goes down. The warrior is out of this match. He got b rest. He is back in it. Seems like the most pressure being done right now is on the Cupcakey. Her life bar is falling faster than everybody else's. Oh, she got really low there, but popped the full heal. But going right back down, is she going to be able to survive all this pressure? Naked Stone and team are trying to peel off a of Cupcakey, but it's not doing very well because Ganked is still on her. Ganked and Antisti are not letting up on Cupcakey one bit. As you can see, Morg was CC'd off to the side. Nephi keeping the range, Tempest attacks going. Cupcake, he's still being pressured. It doesn't seem like any hard switches are going just yet. It's all on the Cupcakey. And Orxy starting to take some damage off to the side. Going to have to focus on himself instead of his allies for once. And Tisty getting really low right now. Morg being CC'd and to get a little bit of the pressure off of Anticity. As you can see, Cupcakey, it's just the story of how long she can survive and if she can endure until the DPS of 1v1 own can be able to be brought down. Antisti and Ganked is just not letting up on Cupcakey one bit. And as you can see, Revert went into the split personality. So the Dom draining is going to be running rampant right now. Trying to slow down the healers on the Go Hard or Go Home team. Antisti being focused a lot. As you can see, the health bar going down very fast but able to be healed up. Antisti taking a lot of damage still. Morg is not letting up on Antisti. It's obvious the call was to get Antisti off of Cupcakey at all cost. And oh, Antisti almost went down. The DPS just switched onto him hard. And down goes Antisti. 
that was the story of this match. How long can Cupcake endure and would it be long enough to get some of the DPS from 1v1 on down? As you can see, ganked using the slip away there. No pressure being put on the cupcake anymore, all pressure being put on the revert. Slow shots taking some damage, but seems to be alright. Neffy being CC'd by revert. Gank taking a lot of damage and he goes down. Viral doing a very good job of the physician healing. Revert being targeted by Morgue right now and taking a lot of damage. Naked Stone switches to him too and Nephi contributes towards the death. Now it's just a matter of cleaning up in Norxy and slow shots. And slow shots bother doesn't bother to cast anything. He basically knows his fate and goes down. Great match. 2-0 for the go hard or go home team already. Wow, this is a battle of champions here. Very good match. Alright, and the next match is underway. This is game three versus go hard or go home versus 1v1 owned. Champion versus champion match here, and the pr and the match is underway here. Let's see, a slow shots running his. Okay, I'm I kind of got diverted off to Norxy taking so much damage there. I was about to start examining slow shots and his build, but yeah, Nephi going down to 40% life and shooting right back up. But man, a lot of pressure being put onto him from Anticity. Cupcakey trying to keep her teammate alive there. And Orxy going low, really low. Is Orxy going to go down? Look at the pressure being put on her. Down goes Orxy, the first person dead of this match. And slow shots was mage caged off to the side. Battle res is up on Orxy. Oh, my face is in it. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, and Norxy once again getting pressured. They're trying to make sure that she goes down before the buffs come up. The battle res of... Well, they don't lose buffs anymore. So, okay, that, that comment is not valid anymore. If you guys are familiar with the recent changes, deaths does not make your buffs go away. You have to have your buffs stripped. So, yeah, it's not the same thing anymore. Ganked goes down and revert goes down. It's looking like a 3-0 sweep by Go Hard or Go Home. And Slow Shots goes down. And Tisty being the only one left alive. So it is a 3-0 win for Go Hard or Go Home. And that's the first time that we've seen uh, 1v1 owned take a loss like that. 